guys I uh, want to take a make a video about um, how to find growth stocks right I mean if you want to trade any name uh, you do want to find a name a stock which is actually growing right so in terms of how to find growth stocks uh, the most popular method is a canceling method by the IBD uh, investors business daily so I'm just going through the website uh, if you take a look at a few things the can slim method what he talks about is you want to take a look at the current quarterly earnings right so what they're really looking at uh, for quarterly earnings to be at least 25 percent growing as a minimum benchmark um, generally higher the quarterly earnings the better it is so earnings um, if you take a look on this over here you go to screener on finviz.com that's what the website you're using right now you can do industry stocks only uh, the first one you want to put on here is in terms of the fundamental, which is in terms of earnings growth, right? So this is earnings per share growth over quarter. So for fundamental reasons, uh, for canceling method, you want to have something which is over 25%, which is over here, right? So you also want to look at even sales growth over 25%, right? So if you do uh, sales growth over quarter over quarter over 25%, um, you also want to look at return on equity, right? Which means the amount of money that you're putting in, how much money you are getting out of it. So return of equity over 17%. Uh, we can do, you know what, over 20%. Uh, it's still about 17% over here, but over 20%, you will find uh, some better names. Uh, so those are the basic criteria. So we have done a scan based on earnings, sales, and return on equity. Those three criteria is what is mentioned on here, right? 25% higher earnings, uh, sales growth 20%, return on equity. And the next thing that you want to really do is uh, take a look at in terms of uh, in terms of the earnings growth, right? In terms of what is the growth it is. So we look at the annual earnings growth over here. So 25-50% of higher an or, uh, growth over the last three years. So with over here, you cannot really see what is the growth um, in the past one, but you can definitely take a look in, I mean, you can use this one, which is EPS growth over the past five years. So they're looking for growth, uh, which is over 25%, right? So that's what you put on here, over 25%. One thing that you would notice is over here, it talks about past three years. Uh, this scan gave us actually a buzz in the past five years, right? So now we are trying to narrow down the whole list, right? So we went from uh, more than 7,000 stocks to now about 50. So with strong earnings growth of 20%, strong sales growth, quarter over quarter of 25, earnings growth over the past five years over 20%. So it means the stock is actually growing for the past 25 years and it has also been growing in the past quarter, which is pretty crucial, right? And return on equity is actually doing really well. So we have narrowed down to about 50 names. Uh, now in terms of, so those are the names that we have used for current quarterly earnings, annual earnings growth. Uh, a new product service, you cannot really do a scan on Fairness for that. Uh, supply and demand. What it really talks about is when there is, um, when the stock is moving up, you want it to be on a higher volume. When the stock is moving down, you want to have a lower volume, right? So if the share price rises sharply, and the trading volume spikes well above average, that indicates demand, right? So it means a lot more people want to get into the stock. Uh, so keep in mind, the stock doesn't really move because of uh, retail investors. It's, it's moved based on institutional investors who have big money to move things around, right? So if you take a look at these charts, right? Let's do a change based on percentage. So here are the names, right? So not a lot of names. You have 15 names to look at. Uh, if you want to see, um, so once the canceling method is on here, what you also want to see, uh, based on my personal um, preferences, we really want to see stocks which have uh, trading over 400,000 shares. I mean, if you take a look at the canceling, it talks about institutional sponsorship. So generally, you want to have average trading volume of 400,000 or more. That's what you're going to do over here, over 400,000. So now we're lead with only 26 names, right? I mean, now it's really easy for you to take a look at these names and try to make us see uh, whether you want to buy or not. One other way you can do it is uh, if you want to see 
So we have talked about in terms of canceling the current earnings, the annual earnings for this new product, uh, supply or demand, leaders, industry, and market, right? Uh, so market, you can really do it in terms of taking a look at the average 200 day moving average, which is the, you wanna have something over SMA 200. So now you narrow it down to just a handful of names, right? You don't have a lot of names in here, um, just about 15 names to look at, right? Um, so yeah, there's a canceling method to find growth names. Uh, what I have personally used, um, if you wanna do some some kind of variations. Um, I generally do not do this one. So if you remove this, right, you still get about 38 names. Um, sometimes there are situations where, you know what, the companies might not have positive earnings, right? They might have growth in sales. Uh, that's what you really wanna see because sales is what really drives um, the revenue, right? That's the income. So revenue is something which you sell something, you get money for it, so that's sales. So sometimes, a lot of times when there's a growth company, sales would actually be uh, positive. Uh, there might be negative earnings. So let's see what I mean. So you go back to finvest.com, do average volume over 400,000 shares, industry stocks only, um, above SMA 200. If you want to take a look at, hey, you know what, you want to take a look at stocks which is uh, having massive sales, right? Over 30%, which is a really good number to look at. Uh, return on equity might not be positive. If it's a young company, chances are uh, the sales and earnings numbers won't be that great. Uh, very seldom you will find, if you want to find uh, growth names, you can also, an established growth name, right? Something not, which is not really trying to come up, which is already there. So something like, um, if you take a look at, so return on equity, right? Um, if you see return on equity for Amazon is only 14.7%. So if you'd run a scan based on ROE over 20% or over 17%, right? You won't really find Amazon in it, right? So if we want to do some, um, some kind of a change in the canceling method, right? So you want to see institutional ownership trading over 400,000 shares, you want to see sales over 30%. You definitely want to take a look at um, growth as the earnings growth as well, over 30%. So 30-30 rule is a really good rule. Um, and if you run the scan, so let's see what you're gonna get, right? So now you see IQ. IQ is the Netflix of China, right? So it has positive sales, positive earnings numbers, which is good for the company. Right. Uh, if you take a look at something like MU, right. So MU, positive sales, positive earnings. These sales and earnings numbers are just incredible. Right. Uh, past five years, something has been great as well. The future and the currently they're doing really well. Uh, this year is exceptionally great EPS. Right. Uh, so if you keep on carrying on. Um, something like USAT. Right, USAID, USA Technologies, uh, phenomenal sales and earnings numbers. Right, just growing at a really good pace. Right, so this is one way that you can shorten your, I mean, increase your, uh, the number of stocks you're looking at. This is how I find the growth stocks. Uh, I will also at times put an average true range because I do want to see stocks which has some range for me to trade, right? I mean, if you're looking to do day trading or swinging, you do want to see some stocks which actually moves because uh, there are times when you're trying to st trade stocks which moves like 10, 20 cents, uh, not really going to do anything, right? So if you look at, so let's say I want to see, um, make a scan for tomorrow, right? So IQ would be really the one that I'm looking at, right? You see this nice bolt like breakout, maybe there's a continuation, heavy pent up demand today. Uh, ABMD looks really nice. I mean, it's consolidating over here. Uh, let's see how it looks on the weekly end. Right. Uh, weekly is pretty stretched out, so it wouldn't really be that enticing. Um, let's see this. Huya is another Chinese name over here, right? Over 20, maybe it can go. So, Huya, right? 
it's a new name seals on these numbers are phenomenal right and maybe this can move something like IQ which did today right so this is one name that I'll start to watch tomorrow uh, some other names that you can take a look at for growth uh, so we keep on sc scrolling down Mascard, right another growth name on here uh, company has been around for a while great sales and earnings numbers for a company which is 1 billion dollar uh, 1.05 billion shares outstanding with a market cap of 200 billion dollars right phenomenal sales and earnings numbers out here um, let's see what else can we see for tomorrow so yeah I mean if you go through this um, this every day you will what you're trying to see is stocks so once again the filters are true range over 0 0.5 means it moves at least 50 cents a day uh, stock has to be trading over the 200 day moving average uh, you also want to have strong sales and strong earning numbers and of course if you want to see institutional ownership you want to have stocks which has trading some decent volume right you don't want to have stock trading stocks which have no volume in it because uh, then those are pretty speculative so yeah if you guys like the video please like and subscribe i uh, hope you guys learned something today